here and welcome to another edition of Travel Oregon's Grants Getaways and as you can see I have picked a doozy of a day to come out along the Oregon coast. We're on top of view platform at the South Jetty on the southern side of the Columbia River and that's the basis for this week's getaway. We're not going out there but we're going indoors to learn more about the history of the mighty Columbia at the Columbia River Maritime Museum. The Columbia River Maritime Museum puts you in touch with danger. The graveyard of the Pacific still works. You know, there were 2,000 wrecks on the Columbia River. Where respect for nature runs deep. It's still considered the most challenging water passage on the planet. And history comes to life in unique, exciting ways. They see the boats, they see the 44-foot the motor lifeboat on display and say, you know, what's that? It's the river that runs through the heart of the Northwest, an Astoria landmark that showcases many swirling stories. And I think people really appreciate connecting with the water and you know everyone loves to go to the beach. There's something to that, but to come to the, and actually learn about your heritage, learn about how it used to be and how things are done now on the water, I think it's fascinating to a lot of people. We've shown you the fascinating power and fickle nature of the Columbia firsthand in previous Grants Getaways. Just last summer, on a fishing trip to the famous Buoy 10 Salmon Fishing Grounds, dense fog nearly cost us as a 200-foot-long ship showed up out of nowhere. It wasn't supposed to be in such shallow water, but there she was, and here we were lucky. See how close he is to the edge? You just get absolutely turned around in this kind of a fog. So uh, GPS certainly, compass, uh, but again, you need to know how to use it. You know, that's essential equipment. I wouldn't come out here without it myself. Then last fall on a crabbing trip with lifelong local Steve Fick. We are headed down to the lower Columbia River about buoy 24 uh, to 22 in about 30 feet of water. He showed us new respect for the power of the river's bar. The steep swell, the potential of a breaking swell, when you get on the bar, every once in a while, you'll see one crest and break. Currents, particularly if you lose power, if, if you get your boat pushed sideways and you're, and you're going over that, it can flip you. The people who work on the water know this danger well, and they accept the risk. From Coast Guard personnel who put their lives on the line each day. All of their crews from all over the country actually come here every January just to experience real rough water and to train on the boats to the bar pilots who call this 15-mile stretch the office. When you come across the Columbia River bar, you get that effect of, of the current and meeting the big swells and the combination of the wind, and even the largest of the ships will have substantial movement. And those 50, 60 knot winds hit those, and it just want, wants to push them sideways. So you have to get used to that kind of thing in dealing with individual ships. Along Astoria's waterfront, visitors come face to face with all of these stories indoors where it's safe and warm. I think what I like most about the Columbia River Maritime Museum is that the exhibits are the real McCoy and so close you can reach out and touch them like the Darl here, a Pacific Troller. And then under your feet, another exhibit showing all the different fish species caught in the Columbia River and how the fishermen caught them. We have over 18,000 photographs in our collection related to maritime concerns. Uh, we have many boats in our collection, fishing, recreational. Every piece has the potential to tell a story, and so those are the pieces that we're actively trying to collect. The varied photos, exhibits, and videos merge the past with the present and provide you a compelling place to see, touch, and learn more about an important corner of Oregon. Mouth of the Columbia River. Understanding and appreciating the history of the river and its impact on people throughout time is a fascinating story and that's what we're here to try to convey to people and to capture so that future generations can appreciate that as well. I think the Columbia River Maritime Museum is a wonderful destination to put you in touch with this mighty Columbia River that runs through the heart of the Pacific Northwest. It's a great destination for all kinds of reasons and you can find all the details and directions on the Travel Oregon website. So until next time, get out here and make your own outdoor adventures and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.